people will be playing games and oh, that type yeah. of thing this weekend for Memorial Day. And we have a treat for you this morning. This is a game of ridiculously revealing questions this morning. Yeah, you can learn more about f your friends or laugh about what you already know. Mm -hmm. One of the creators of uh, Friends, Friend or Foe is here with us, uh, Chrissy, this morning. And I just Good turned morning. over one of the cards. Uh, and, and to give you an idea of the kind of questions that you're going to be asking, which X have I stalked the most on social media? So these get, uh, this gets a little personal, doesn't so it? So it could be dangerous. It gets a little personal. It's kind of how the game works. As you work up from round one to round five, just a little bit more risque, a little bit more personal, um, just to kind of reveal some ridiculous but real stuff about each other. So how do you play? You have uh, how many players? And what so do you, you do? can have two. We've had as much as 13 play. You just oh. take turns. Each person grabs a card from round one. And when you're done with round one, you move up the ranks until you get to round five. But the twist of the game is when you ask the question, everyone else at playing has to answer the question about me or you versus me just answering the question about myself. So it's designed to see how much we know about each other you know, regardless of how long you've known each other. Oh. So maybe yeah. not a first date game, uh, but when it's time to start <laughs> defining the relationship, this right. is the game you bring out. Let's play friend or foe. Yeah. Uh, now this is not available right now. This is not available right now. We have it on Kickstarter, so that's the only place to get it right now. And Kickstarter is a place where creative projects go to come to life. We have until the 30th of this month to meet our goal, which is $25,000 and 100% of that goal goes to the production of that game. So it's a way to say, do people want this game without us producing the game before we know that? And we're almost there. We're at t just t under 23. So it's kind of a different, oh, model, a different model of getting yeah. something started. Yeah, I mean, there, a right? lot of companies have used Kickstarter every, in right. games like um, Cards Against Humanity, Exploding Kittens, Utter Nonsense. Yeah, so there's real um, success stories to this, so we're hoping we can have the same. I feel like we should all answer a question here. Oh, all right. <laughs> not, that, <laughs> not that one. Well, yeah. <laughs> it should be a fun game. Yeah, you may want to stick, so stick here. Let's we'll stick in the ones and twos. Yeah. Uh, yeah. No, so friend or foe, how do they look up the Kickstarter? So you can go to our website, which is playfriendorfoe.com. The link to our Kickstarter is there. Or you can go to kickstarter.com directly and search up kick, uh, play friend or foe, and it should bring you to the link. Awesome. Chrissy, thank you so much. Of course, yeah. we'll have this all linked up at cbsdenver.com. And I'm interested in how to play Exploding Kittens. That sounds, <laughs> right, that's uh, we'll have to talk after. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> all right. Dave's got a uh, check of the forecast coming up here next.